anyway, let's go ahead and do this last sub city and get the last key we need. I believe it's the sleeper key. A lot of evil robots in here. Please get away from me. Please get away from me. Ow, bitch. Can you die? What the fuck is going on? Oh, these must be the extra special hardcore tough robots. Hang on, sir. I'm picking up money. There we go. See, I had it all under control. <coughs> Fuck. Hey, come here. I'm gonna kick your ass, bitch. There we go. Yeah, see, now this weapon's doing crazy damage. Oh, damn, the range is pretty shitty. The range is still pretty shitty. And no matter. Whoa, 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 hang on there, chief. What did I tell you about bothering me while I'm making money? Oh shit, they can jump. Oh shit, they blended in together. Can you die? What the fuck? God damn, man. Go away. Dealing with these huh? stupid robots. That sounds like a door opening somewhere. I'd better take a look around. I'd better take a look around. <laughs> you found the sleeper key. There. This should be the last key. Now all I have to do is open the central gate. Oh shit. Things are getting crazy. But let me call up roll real quick. Oh, should I refill my? Nah, nah, fuck it. Talk to data, energy charge. Actually, let's go to the main gate first. Support car. So now I'm going to have to be quiet uh, and hope that the voices come through really well on this last area because, um, what do you call it? There's gonna be a lot of like narrative or a lot of details of the story coming out and uh, through dialogue. And I just want everybody to be able to hear it. Um, but first, before we enter the main gate, I'm gonna go take a piss because I really gotta go. So let's hit up the main gate and see what's going on in the central gate. And we're just going to kind of blast our way through here because, whoa, I'm just trying to get down to the center. Excuse me, pardon me. Get through here. No. Go, go, go. So we have to go to that computer that we were at before that told us we couldn't uh, activate the central gate and then put the keys in. Please enter command. Operate central gate. Warning, the central gate has been locked by Eden. Activation requires manual override through the use of watcher, sleeper, and dreamer keys. Uh, what? Oh, never mind. We don't have to come here. What the hell am I doing? We, we do need to use the keys for something, but we have to put them in a different place. 
Excuse me, boys. Ow. God, dude, that took so much health off. Fuck. Oh, I also didn't... Oh, shit. I should have spent some money on the Kevlar jacket. Shit, that's my bad. Because the final boss is uh, toughy, and he does quite a bit of damage. All right, here we are. Huh? There's some writing. Watcher. What is that supposed to mean? Mega Man, you know. The second door. What is this? It reads, Sleeper. The third door. What does this one say? Dreamer? Well, it should be the last one. Let's use it. Alright, so hopefully we'll be able to hear this. What's happening to me? This is the first time I've ever been here, but I feel like I've seen this before. Something is telling me there's danger here, that it shouldn't be opened. It's a man? A person? Was it you who awoke me? It is somewhat earlier than I had planned, but no matter. Thank you for awakening me. Hmm. Have we met before? Oh, please forgive me. You are a purifier model, assigned to the direct command of Mother. As I recall, you were designated Mega Man Trigger. Please forgive me. I did not recognize you in your current configuration. You... you know me? You don't remember? Ah, I see. You have suffered memory loss, yes? Then for what purpose have you awakened me? I assume... that your reason for coming here is to purge the carbons that have overpropagated during the time I was inactive. Carbon? Purge? What are you talking about? According to Urban Military Security Ordinance A10, the number of carbon units is not allowed to increase beyond the pre-specified limit. If this happens, they are to be purged immediately. My observation is left unattended. The carbons will reproduce indefinitely. Their numbers will grow, polluting the surface world. They can be quite a nuisance. Carbon? Do you mean the people on the island? The carbons fit mass population model B. They are unstable, very difficult to control. Perhaps it would be better to simply reinitialize. Reinitialize? Well, I haven't understood much of what you've been saying, but when you say reinitialize, do you mean no? Huh? This is quite surprising. It would be much simpler if I had the assistance of a proficient unit, such as yourself. Once my task is complete, I shall inquire as to the presence of a backup of your memory on Eden. Until then, please remain where you are. Yes, until then. What is a... Or nar. It's a man? A person? Yep. Something tells me he's not kidding either. I really <laughs> think he plans to kill everyone on the island. Diesel, we've got to do something. We've got to stop him. Hmm, that's easier said than done. Besides, do you think we could beat him? Well, um, what about Mega Man? Hmm, I don't like it, but I can't think of anything better, so... Oh, here's a problem. Hey, Trom! How do you stop this thing? Oh, 
this? Like this! <laughs> Mega Man, are you all right? Uh, thanks for your help. Come on, hurry up! He's getting away! Right. It's not over between you and me. I won't forgive you if you die or anything stupid like that, so be careful in there, okay? Right. See you later. See you later. Don't worry, Tron. If anyone can do it, he can. I know. Yeah, so hopefully all that audio. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hopefully all that audio came through. Uh, basically that <laughs> that um, character that we just unleashed uh, is called Mega Man Juno. And its job is to basically keep uh, the human population of Catalox Island under control. And that is by killing everybody if they start to grow too much and Mega Man I'm pretty sure is like he was designed to be the trigger for Mega Man Juno so like Mega Man Juno goes under like stasis for years at a time and then Mega Man I think awakens to like uh, to activate Juno uh, what am I doing here? Buster parts no Max is out attack. Okay, this is what I was looking for. So we can do that with that. Um, and then we could do this with... What was the other thing? Attack and range. Max is out energy. <coughs> we don't need a whole bunch of range for this, to be honest. Because, um... Yeah, we don't need a whole ton of range because we're going to be, like, right up close and personal. I thought I had something that boosted rapid. Or at least boosted it more. Damn. It's not. Uh, yeah, so basically Mega Man is the one who's supposed to activate Juno every certain amount of years, I guess. Um, but Mega Man at some point lost his memory, and because of that, never activated Juno. Uh, and he was picked up, I think, by Professor Beryl and was treated like his kid. Uh... And then through our investigation of the island's mystery, we accidentally fucking activate Juno, and now we have to stop him from destroying the entire fucking island. Bad times. Holy mother god, that's a big old refractor. You can feel the tremendous energy emanating from the refractor. God damn, that thing is huge being held in place by some kind of powerful force. It appears as if the entire main gate is under the control of Mega Man Juno. That's a big ol' thing. Uh-oh. Yeah, now my range is booty, but I'd rather have rapid fire. my way oh my god there's so many of them ah shit alright here we go <coughs> data well we've come a long way haven't we it would have been nice if we could have just kept on living in peace with the professor and roll but I guess we've got to do what we've got to do, right? 
Mega Man Juno's waiting for you inside. And I think there's some dialogue here with Data. Tell me, uh, what am I? What's the matter, Mega Man? Oh, you're wondering about what Juno said, eh? Does it matter? Wherever you are, you're still Mega Man, right? You come on, roll, and everyone else are counting on you. You can't give up now. What should I do now? Mega Man Juno is waiting for you inside. You can do it, Mega Man. I believe in you. Is it going to be okay? Well, you may not know anything about Juno, but judging from his model type, I'd say that your combat capabilities exceed his. Juno wasn't designed for combat, but still, as master of the island, you shouldn't underestimate him. Your relative levels of strength depend on how much you've developed your capabilities and weapons. Yada, yada, yada. Let's go. Hello, bitch. Hmm. It appears I miscalculated the odds of your ability to escape that trap. You are, however, too late. Eden was activated as soon as I entered this room. It cannot be deactivated as long as I, the master key of this island, remain here in this control room. Arnar! All that remains now is to wait for Aiden to enter transmission range and send the command to execute the reinitialization of this island. Once that command is received, the 10,000 workers aboard Aiden will execute it immediately. My estimates indicate their work will be completed in less than five minutes. It's the eye. You guys pissing your pants yet? Eden has been activated, any further interference from you will remain on file, thus tarnishing my operating record. Fortunately, you are suffering from memory loss and fragmentation. Therefore, as keeper of this island, I hereby exercise my prerogative of correctional dispensation. Prerogative of correctional? What? Allow me to rephrase. I will exercise my authority to terminate your program. The fuck you will! Whoa! Oh, oh shit. I remember what moves he has. Ready? Oh, that's an easy one. I remember that. Stop jumping. Ready? Oh shit! Mega Man. Come on, we got this. Ready? No! Oh, shit, I don't know what that does. Oh shit, I just ran into him. Ready? Die! Bitch. My, my. It would appear that I have made an error. Yeah. Look <laughs> how he's just standing. You were nearly successful in terminating my life support subroutine functions. But do not be disappointed. 
It appears it will take longer than anticipated for Eden to reach its optimal altitude. If you can terminate me before then, you will be able to stop it. Assuming you are capable of deactivating me. Oh, you have no idea. Alright, that's this is the reason I wasn't using uh missiles in that first fight. Because I know this one has a lot more uh combat capability. So I need to make sure I kill it as quick as possible. Mega Man Angie. Are you ready? I just need to learn his moveset first. Oh, I remember that one. Oh, shit. Stop it. Oh shit! That was close. Come on. Oh shit! Oh my god. Fuck. Damn, I'm probably better off just firing uh, buster bolts at him. Oh shit. Oh, I got him. Nice. Wow. Never mind. Easy. <laughs> Bitch. It appears I was in error assuming that a bureaucratic model such as myself would be able to best you in hand-to-hand -hand combat. However, I was successful in keeping you occupied long enough for Eden to achieve optimal altitude before you could interfere. Bureaucratic Model 3rd Class. Authorization number 8677. Requesting a reinitialization of this island system and a memory backup of its bureaucratic systems. Stop! Stop it! If you wish to shoot me, please do not hesitate. My program has already been backed up in Eden's Central Core. I eagerly await my next activation. Eden systems ready, awaiting confirmation. Requested backup of bureaucratic model Mega Man Juno complete. Execution of Catalog's reinitialization program will commence in 100 seconds. What should I do? Interrupt command. Priority command rerouted to purifier first class Mega Man trigger. Under suspicion of malfunction, bureaucratic model third class Juno has been deactivated by Mega Man trigger as per ordinance 103. Mega Man trigger hereby requests the indefinite postponement of the previous reinitialization order and the deletion of bureaucratic model Juno's backup data. Trigger hereby assumes all bureaucratic authority for the district and will petition Mother for guidance at a future date. Command reroute acknowledged. Priority given to Purifier First Class's command. Eden resuming standby mode and returning to pre-designated coordinates. Deleting log of Purifier First Class's correspondence as required by security ordinances. Requesting that notification to Mother be carried out by Purifier First Class Present bureaucratic authority trip. <laughs> oh my fucking god, yeah! <laughs> Data? 
There's nothing to worry about anymore, Mega Man. Everything should return to normal shortly. Do you know who I am? I'm your peripheral memory storage device. You originally created me so your memory couldn't be scanned by Mother, too. I can't tell you anything yet. But soon I'll be able to tell you everything. What you are, why you lost your memory, your original function, and mission. Mega Man! Mega Man! Blasted contraption! It's always breaking down at the worst time! Mega Man, are you alright? Yep, I'm just fine. Gramps and I were working on the radio forever, but couldn't get it to work. Mega Man, you won't believe what we saw. I'm glad these old eyes of mine lasted long enough to see it. Mm -hmm. Calm down, Gramps. He's been like this ever since... Huh? Mega Man? Are you alright? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Really. I'm sorry that I scared you. Sorry. You're always running off like that, making me worry myself sick over you. But somehow, I know you'll always make it back. I have faith in you. Thanks. See you soon. Data, let's go. <coughs> Ready. Man said ee -E. ah. All right, we're ready to go anytime you are. Thanks, bro. Tell me. Do you really have to go so soon? After all you've done for us, please stay a while longer. We haven't had the chance to thank you properly. Well, it's not that we don't want to stay. It's just that we've got some unfinished business that we've got to take care of. Right? Yep. That's right. Besides, now that we've got a refractor <laughs> for the flutter, it's time for us to go. If you must go... Won't you at least come to town and say goodbye to everyone? Hmm. I suppose we should at least say goodbye, eh? Hey, Mega Man, why don't you go? Give him our best. It would mean so much to everyone. Go on, Mega Man. And say goodbye to the Junkman's wife for me. Okay. I'm going. Yeah, 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 with this lag. Uh, can I just leave? I want to make sure you say goodbye to everyone. Come on, let me leave. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Yeah, so very weird turn to this game that I wasn't expecting when I was a kid. Even after we defeated Juno too, it's like we still would have failed if we didn't have data there. Hey there, you did a pretty good job for my sidekick. Don't forget to tell all the people on the other islands about how you were my sidekick, okay? See you later then. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Hey, lady! Thank you for saving me and my baby and the island, huh? Oh, the baby's just fine, thank you. I'm doing great too, as you can see. Oh, hi, Mega Man, thanks for your help. Did you hear we had a baby boy? My, we named him Mega Man after you. That is a terrible name. You did a hippopotamus. Now I'll be able to dig all over the island. Just kidding. I think I'll stick with the little ruins near the city. I mean, there's still all sorts of reaver bots in the other ruins, right? Anyway, take care of yourself. Do you really have to go hippopotamus? You were the best digger we ever had as a customer. I'm sure you'll do fine wherever you go. You and your spotter roll. You two seem to get along real well. Like a digger and spotter should. Beep it a boop it a bop. All right, can we leave now? I have to leave this island. My dog is hungry. Let's get out of here. Come on. Look at all these birds.
Yeah, it's pretty cool though. Mega Man had a mission and created data to be like his personal memory device so that his memory wouldn't have to get uploaded to Mother, which I'm assuming is like some main database computer that's in charge of Mega Man. Ready to leave Mega Man? Did you already say goodbye to everyone? Yes. Why? Thank you so much for your help. Take care of yourself. Bye. Take care. Goodbye. See you later, Amelia. Yeah, let's get on out of here. After all that, we still didn't find out anything about your mom and dad. Or the mother load. Well, it can't be helped. It's not like we meant to come here in the first place, right? But everything worked out in the end, right? Yeah. Hey, Mega Man, did something happen while you were underground? Huh? Yeah, well, not really. Don't worry about it. Well, I don't know, but... <laughs> don't ever forget that I'll always believe in you, okay? Roll! Mega Man, roll! Look outside! The island! Mega Man! <laughs> okay. The island's just on fire. Everybody's what dying. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, left! Left! Huh? Okay. Oh my god, everybody's made out of paper. They've all turned two-dimensional. God, excuse me. Hey, you guys. They were all really nice people. Maybe we'll come back here and see them again. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Hmm. Setting new course. Here we go. We did it! Yeah! Alright! Oh, God. I think now is just credits. I don't know if anything's gonna pop up. Oh, there we go. Well, we did it! We saved Catalog's Island from getting destroyed in nuclear annihilation by a psychotic robot man-woman thing. Uh, you know, just your average, everyday work. Uh, but yeah, I, I love this game. This Mega Man 64, I remember the very first time I played it. Actually, I rented it from Blockbuster when I was a kid, and it had a bunch of save files in it already. And I would like look at them and be so confused as to what the hell was going on. Uh, but I, yeah, I still remember the first time playing through it and beating it. And it's just, it's such a good game and it brings back a lot of, uh, a lot of memories from childhood. So really enjoyed playing through it again and uh, really enjoyed making a video of it. Uh, not without its bumps in the road, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, still had a great time playing it and excited to, uh, finish editing and uploading the rest of it onto the channel. Uh, not sure what I'm going to play next. I'll have to take a look around and see, but I will probably be streaming. I might stream a little bit after this, maybe like a couple hours. Um, 
but I'm, I'm definitely going to get back on to streaming Pokemon as well. Just get some shiny hunts here and there and then deciding what I want to play for an actual like main game for videos and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, other than that, this has been a very fun playthrough. Uh, for those of you who stopped by and watched, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you stick around for anything else that I might come up with. And yeah, I think we'll we'll finish it up now. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys all have a good night.